All right, what's going on everybody? In this video, what we're gonna do is attempt to install the DJI Digital FPV system into uh, my Hyperlite Glide. This is the biggest frame I have. Um, right now, I'm running a, I can't even think of what the hell it's called, a tramp in there for the, my VTX, and then the top is actually just empty, but I wanted LEDs, so I, ran a strip on each side of LEDs but I guess I'm gonna have to remove them so I was trying to fit this and I could put it right here on this stack on top the camera would fit right in there where my full-size eagles in there I got the night eagle 2 in there this is my night quad but I can either put it on the top of the stack and I'd like to actually put it back here, but the gap between the standoffs is too small. The only spot is this front or the middle. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to put it in the middle. So, you know, I may actually have to remove the LEDs, the tramp. I got to remove a couple pieces. I'm thinking, how am I going to mount these antennas? Maybe one out each side of the quad. I gotta pull the GoPro off. I mean, one on each side might work right next to the battery. All right, so all that aside, from what I've seen with your wire harness here, if you're just gonna hook this camera up and not, you know, use your OSD or anything, literally all you do is power it with two to four S. And that's it hook it up install it but if you want to have your osd kind of working and be able to adjust your pids if you don't you know maybe have lula scripts you have to use this white and gray wire and then if you're going to use dji's system radio system you use these two but we're not going to be using these so we're only going to worry about these four and basically we just need to open uart on our board and I'm using a Pyroflip F4 board but I also fly 6S so in order to do this I picked up these BECs it's a pack of three they're adjustable from 5 to 9 volt so I figure if I can hook up to my VBAT on my Pyro board to this make it 9 volt and then I'll have 9 volt and enough low enough power to use it on 6s at least that's what my thought is anyway so let's get started oh yeah i should say that um you know we're hooking this up to run a, with crossfire too whatever it doesn't matter if it's crossfire or the other systems because we're not even going to ever change anything like that we're going to just be changing the, uh, you know, you need to have an open UART. You, on most of these boards, you should have an available UART. You know, it's going to be different, I guess, for everybody. All right, that's coming off, that's coming off, that's coming off. Wow, quite a bit actually comes off. So let's start with the LEDs. Let's pull them off. LEDs off. Camera. She's gone. She gone. Now what do we got here? A little ground action. Some VBAT. VBAT. Go on. There we go. All right. So we've actually reduced on this quad a bunch of parts. Those are the parts off compared to the parts going on. Can I do this? Mm 
motherfucker. If I turn the quad around. And make everything different. Make this the back. And this the front. Oh, hell yeah. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing is just return, or a little, not returning, but turning it around. And making that the front? Maybe that is the front. Am I fucked up? No, that's the back. It kind of looks like it could be the front. So trippy. I don't know. Alright, so after flipping the quad around and turning the the back into the front and vice versa everything seems to be fine i've put uh you know i tested it in beta flight now what i think i'm going to do is put the smaller standoffs on it i'm not going to run the rear standoff set and then i think we should still stay low enough what i'd like to do now is take this wire harness And we're going to be plugged in there, coming across. I'm not going to shorten it, but since I'm not using this side, I'm not doing their radio, I'll just cut it off. And then we need the BC. And on the BC, you have to cross these for 9 volts. All right, so right now it should work, but we need the gray wire and the white wire. So, TX4 and RX4. All right, so on the harness, oops. The white wire goes to TX, and the gray wire goes to RX from what it seems, I guess. And then I gotta hook that to my V-Bat on ground. It's white to TX and gray to RX. How do I want to do this? Now the V-Bat. There's one right here. And then there's a ground right next to it. Man, they feel fat though, these wires that I picked. So essentially right now everything should work if we wired it correctly. <laughs> I'll use a little piece of double-sided tape there. I don't want to get too crazy with it yet because I don't know if it's right. So. Cut a bigger piece, and I'm gonna stick it on here, which isn't actually the best idea, but my ghetto ass figures I can go like this. And then I'll zip tie it 
down. And he's fucking it down. Plug that in there. Make sure my antenna or my camera is facing up. These are the, uh, I think the original camera mounts that came with this quad. If not, they're like just your standard micro camera mounts. I think, I don't know, they're standard to me. All right, well, that isn't the best in the West. I should probably take out these other screw balls here. I think they're screwing me up. So I'm gonna have to make a, you know, obviously a custom mount, front and back. She's a thick one. I might not, because my standoffs are so low, I might, I might be limited. I'm just gonna kind of wedge that in there for now. Oh yeah, I can't forget my crossfire antenna. I can't forget the radio antenna. Well, it looks compact in there. It's just the wires are... That'll be fine. Let's do our first ever test. Whoa. Now to plug up the goggles. Oh, and it's so clear. No SD. I'm not getting any telemetry either. Oh, duh. I gotta turn it on in beta flight. Jesus. All right, so initially nothing caught fire. Everything was working. It's actually installed now, running on 6S. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're on beta flight. I believe it's 4.0.5. And then once you got the camera mounted, you gotta hook it, hook it up to beta flight again. Go to configurator or ports. Since we put it on UART 4, we're gonna turn on this configuration MSP save and reboot now when we power up our goggles it should be showing OSD the rear standoffs get in the way of the antennas so I just removed them I'm not going to put the battery back there so it should be fine um, my crossover or crossfire antenna I just mounted like this for now because this is going to be the test flight and it's going to be a test flight because, you know, I updated beta flight and everything. So I don't have everything dialed in on it. So I don't, you know, I don't even know if it's going to take off. But 
it arms. I tested that. Swapped out to the diamond antenna. I got my 6S packs. I don't have battery straps. I gotta go get a battery strap. And if you like this shrink wrap, I'll link in the description. It really protects your batteries. So if you guys are wondering how I'm gonna power it, if you see over here, I had ran a, a cable through my truck to my battery with an XT90. And then I have another one with the XT60s on there and then one for my charger. So it used to be my ground station, my goggles, or even I would plug in my timer if I was racing. So I'm gonna just plug in my uh, goggles because it's 12 volt. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section. Um, the next video that I'm gonna be posting up is gonna be a video of me flying it on my first flight and showing how it got down. Thanks for watching. Later. Hey everybody.